how can somebody who knows every answer on Pointless not know what he wants for his tea tonight? Shortly after Carol was diagnosed with dementia, we were invited to participate in a Living Well with Dementia Group. And we met six other couples and we formed a really close social bond with them. And they're still at the core of our group now. And I think if we didn't have those friends and those groups, we'd be absolutely lost. My advice to anybody who's diagnosed with dementia get involved with other people that have got dementia because they're the only people that know what you're going through. People with dementia seem to really get on with people with dementia. And as a carer, I value the support of... And you love it. <laughs> and as a carer, I value the support of the other carers. It's made... Um, it's made life worth living. It, yeah, it has. It's made our, it's made our lives... Um, or we, I don't think we'd have been... We'd, we'd have been very, very sad if we hadn't have got... We'd have been lonely, the, wouldn't our, we? Oh, incredibly lonely. <laughs> Well, it keeps us sane, more or less, doesn't it? You know, having a dance and a oh, chat. Well, and, oh, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> keeps us going, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I yeah. love it. Yeah. Slide to the right. Chris Cross. Chris Cross. Cha cha, real smooth. I can't do nothing. It's got to have something, a purpose in life. Because if you don't have that, that's not living. I still believe get on with life. I don't intend to stop. It's helping. And don't I always say don't give up. There's people in the group that have got the same as Carol, but they're, they're totally different. So as carers, we tend to say that people have got their form of dementia. As there's no two people the same, and you just have to learn to cope with it. But as a carer, I think one of the big things you have to do, you just have to accept the person with dementia is always right. They're not going to change, so you have to change. And you'll live a better life if you accept that. <laughs> I can't remember having a word yesterday from her. She smiled a little bit. It's a difficult illness because it's a sad illness because it takes the person away who you loved and they don't know who you are. And that's very difficult to deal with on your own. I, in fact, I don't think you can deal with it on your own, really. <laughs> Oh, well, he's, he's, he's contented and quiet. I think you're lucky. How are you lucky to be living with dementia? How is anybody lucky to have this hideous illness? You'll never hear a carer turn around and say, I'm living well with dementia. <laughs> oh, I come to Cush, I love it. I love it. Beautiful. If you give it up, I don't know what to do. We look all right, all we fine, but deep down, you get depressed. Oh, it's magnificent, this is. Honestly, I'm not talking because I'm on there. Don't think I am, because I'm not. I don't know how we do it out here. When you're 
when you get your diagnosis, you're totally lost. You don't know what to do. Uh, they've got all this information coming at you, and all you want to be is normal, but you'll yeah. never be normal again. Well, you, the, the carers have got to change. Yeah, and then you meet people who are singing from the same hymn sheet as you, by pure luck, yeah. and you just cling to each other. <laughs> It it's lightens good. your week. Yeah. Well, all, everything we do lightens his week. Yeah. Can't go on together with suspicious eyes. Life is for living, and you've got, you've got to, just got to, got to, got to, get on with it. Oh.